Simply Red. If you don't know me by now on the BBC in the Midlands, this is Paul Shuttleworth looking after things for Keith Middleton. Hiya, Bal. How are you? Oh, hello there. How are you on? How are you How are you doing? With I, I'm really good yeah. now, thank you, because um, Sarah's brought me a cup of tea, so I've right. got it made. Now, how's your day been? Been. Oh, it's been like from disaster to disaster. Why? What happened? Um, well, it, well, it's been, uh, there's been terrible snow, and uh, which our chimney, which we were oh, I'm rather worried about, uh, we've got covered in the snow, completely collapsed. And caused a terrible destruction, and the windows had also smashed. And we're sitting in a freezing room, uh, listening to your radio, and there's debris everywhere. I had to phone the police, and some of the debris fell on my car. Oh my god, so the chimney actually fell off. It fell off. It completely fell off, and there was a destruction everywhere. Oh my god, whereabouts are you, Belle? I'm pardon? Whereabouts in the Midlands are you? Radford. Radford. In Coventry. Coventry, Coventry, and uh, the car was the front of the car was destroyed, and um, I hurt my hand, which I'm now wearing a bandage. Oh dear! And uh, it's been rather upsetting, actually. And I can imagine. We cheered ourselves up. We had mince pies. I've had eight already. Eight mince pies. Right. The police officer came. He had a mince pie. Did he now? We had to give him one week, which was out of date, which I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him or not? No, we didn't. No, tell him, I wouldn't but, bother. Um, he was quite a nice man. He, if they're young and healthy, they'll be fine with a mince pie a couple of days it's out of date. Very, very cold. And I've written a little song for all the listeners to face the cold. Would you like to hear it? I'd love to hear it. Oh, don't be fearful of the cold. The snow and the ice are hard. We can face it together now. The British are full of heart. Let's march together in the snow, the ice and the rain. Never fear for the sleet. We'll always win again. I'm loving the fact that... Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Okay. And I'm loving the fact that your chimney stack fell down and you've composed me a song. Oh, on the second verse. There's a second verse. Oh, is there? Go on, then. Fire away. It shines through the generations that passed. The feeling of sympathy that we can all give in a glance. Melancholy may temper us, but we can have butter and margarine till we want. That's fantastic. Hey, Bal, thanks very much. Did you got lots of help and support from your neighbours? Yes, we've had a lot of help from us. I would like to thank um, one of my friends who's really been very helpful, uh, Chrissy Lowndes, who's uh, given us lots of uh, butter, which we ran out, and also hot tea and bread. Oh, bless them. Thank you ever so much to the whole community, and thanks for telling us your story, Bal. You take care, won't you? Have you got any mince pies left, or have they all gone now? They've all gone, but I feel sorry for the blackbirds. <laughs> Why, because they're not getting anything? Well, no, because they're so cold and their beaks are exposed. I'm sure they'll be all right in their nests, you know. Well. Take care, Bal. Thanks for calling us. All the best. Take care, Bal in Coventry. If you'd like to tell us your story, 0845 303 9303 is the phone number. You can send us a...